In this video, we're going to be building a Helltech Mestastic Radio. Let's get into it. As you see here, this is the box it came in. Do note that it comes with a pack of two, so it's two radios. Here are the parts set out in a semi organized fashion. We got the cover, we got the battery pack, the little bits, the double sided tape, and of course the case. Nice. And in case that video part was too long, here is a nice picture of it. The first step is to take apart the case. Shouldn't take too long, just gotta pry that sucker apart. Little, little uh, elbow grease won't hurt anything. After you open the case, the next step will be to attach the antenna. This will be the hardest step throughout the process because it is terrifying as you have your big fingers are trying to attach a very little connection. So here is the picture of the board and the antenna. I'm going to do a little zoom up here where you have to attach it. You will have to use elbow grease with this. This was the hardest part of the assembly, was just getting this little connector connected. Be very careful on the screen, you want to crack the screens. The next step will be to apply the double-sided tape. Here you see me trying to apply the tape to the case. Don't do that, it is much easier to just put the tape on the back of the battery and set the battery in place. As you can see here, the battery does have to go a certain way the battery cable to extend toward the antenna opening. There is the USB-C connector I'm pointing to and there is the hole it needs to pop out of. So the board should only go one way. Be mindful of that. That is the next step. Step four, putting the board into the top part of the case. And you see how the antenna goes out that big antenna hole should be nice and snug. If it's loose, it's not in properly. Don't be afraid to add some oomph. And the USB-C port should be popping out. That is an obvious test you can do if everything's aligned. Once the board is nice and snug, go ahead and screw on the actual antenna. Because nothing's powered, we don't have to screw on the antenna right away. We just have to make sure the antenna cable is plugged in. Oh, this is also extremely important. Do not, under any circumstances, or the radio people will freak out, plug the battery in to the board before plugging in the antenna. A lot of people freak out saying that it causes battery issues, fries the board, yada, yada, yada. All right, moving on. Next step, gently, very gently, connect the battery cable to the main board. This wasn't super hard, it just was kind of annoying because again I have big fingers and it's hard to just get it in there. Once the battery is connected to the main board, the case clips into itself so it's very easy to just put it together and it will power up right off the rip. Device is assembled, the next step is to put on the front cover. Take one. I'm gonna mess it up. I'm gonna mess it up. I'm gonna mess it up. No! Did you mess it up? No, it slides in. It actually has a little slidey slide. <laughs> oh! Front cover looks pretty nice. Slides into place. There is the size of the device. Picture of my hand for size comparison. Moving on. Ready for this? As we peel away the plastic cover to the cover. Me pushing the button on purpose for the first time. You'll see a little blue screen, you'll see the Helltech um, automation. Yeah, it's automation. You'll see the Helltech automation logo. Thank you so much for helping me reach 500 subscribers. I never expected this channel to ever get past 20. So this has been awesome, a huge blessing. Thank you. And as always, don't die. Stay healthy. Catch you the next video. Bye.